So EML4L occurs in about 5 to 7 percent of patients with non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, it occurs majority of times in adenocarcinoma patients and it is associated with therapeutic response potentially to crizotinib. And so what we have been doing is to test for eml 4 ALK, and the golden test that's available currently is a FISH test. However, there are patients who are positive by RT-PCR and IHC also. EML4-ALK is a translocation on chromosome 2P, so kind of like bcr able where bcr able BCR is located on chromosome 22 and ABL is located on chromosome 9, there's a translocation with a very potent tyrosine kinase activation of ABL. EML4-ALK, in a similar fashion, there's a translocation within the same chromosome of EML4 with ALK, and ALK is a receptor tyrosine kinase with a very potent kinase activity there's a translocation and then what happens is that there becomes a very important and very potent tyrosine kinase activity that drives the cell to become malignant.